Hey guys, I'm Squadzer Danny, and today we're going to talk about Mixer Pro and Lightstream Studio. Today's tutorial is going to cover the basics, such as how to make a basic scene with a basic overlay, alerts, and a webcam. Before we dive into that, though, let me tell you a little bit more about who I am. Uh, before my recent move to Twitch, I spent just over eight months streaming on Mixer using my Xbox One, an HP laptop, a Logitech webcam, and of course, Lightstream Studio. During that time, I managed to build an astonishing little community of just over 2,000 of the best followers anywhere on the internet. Love you guys. Uh, during that time, I realized that the tutorials for Lightstream Studio, as well as information about the various third-party apps, were hard to find and oftentimes non-existent. Now that I've had a chance to upgrade my own setup a little bit, I'd like to take this opportunity to basically fill that information gap a little bit. So let's go ahead and dive right into it, guys. There's a million of me. What happened? All right, let's go for it. All right, guys, so Lightstream Studio. When you first fire up Mixer.GoLightstream.com, if you've got your Mixer Pro membership and you're all signed in and stuff, the first thing you're going to see are these two panels. So on your left, you have your Layers panel. As you can see, I've combined several different third-party integrations on mine. You could do that, but be wary of chatbots. We'll talk about that more later on. Uh, down here at the bottom of your layers panel, you'll see your audio mixer. Guys, there's only two things that pop up down here. Your mixer feed and any microphones you have connected to your computer for the sake of streaming. Uh, unlike slobs, there's not a lot of adjustments you can do with the audio. It's pretty right, basic guys, stuff. Moving over here. over here, we have our scenes panel. Uh, as you can see, you can have multiple scenes here. Pretty easy to set up. You just add a scene and then using your layers menu, you'll add layers to it. Uh, just a quick note guys, your very first starting scene will automatically have your mixer feed included. You can't remove it. But what you can do is what I've done here, which is I muted my mixer feed and then I threw an image over top of it to kind of create a starting soon scene. That's pretty easy to do and basic. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into it. You click the little icon and you add an image and stretch it to fit. Pretty easy. Uh, another quick note guys is I only talked about the two panels, but there is another panel over here that sort of drops out. When you're live, if you're using this while live, you can have your stream and chat appear here. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. If you come on down here, I've already set up a new scene, it's blank, and let's talk about how to add the overlay alerts and of course the webcam to this scene. First thing you're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna come right up here and click add a layer. As you can see, there's several options that come up here uh, obviously you're gonna want to add your mixer feed boom in this case it fit the canvas perfectly and I think that's normally the case but in the event for whatever reason it didn't all you do is come over here into the scenes panel and adjust the size right next guys we're gonna go ahead and add the webcam now guys if you're setting it up on a computer but you're not gonna have access to the computer every time you stream don't worry about this step, okay? You're not going to need to do this. You're going to go ahead and click Add Camera. It's trying to find a camera, but it can't because I'm using my camera. Oh, look at that. I can't actually add it. Not a problem. We won't add the camera. We're going to pretend like we don't have that set up. Uh, let's go ahead and add third-party integrations. Now, in order to get to alerts, you're going to have to use some sort of third-party integration. For today's tutorial, we're just going to use Streamlabs. The reason we're using Streamlabs, even though many of these others also offer alert features, is because Streamlabs is kind of like an industry standard. It's the most commonly used and easiest to set up. As you can see, when you add it, it's going to pop up here, ask you for a URL, and put this over here. This right here, guys, is how you're going to position your alerts on the scene. Put it down here. I would not, if you're going to stream games like Fortnite or any kind of game that has a hype zone on Mixer, I would be very wary of making your alerts cover up whatever the algorithm detects. For Fortnite, it's the minimap and the number of people left alive in the top right corner. So this would be a bad place to position the Streamlabs alert. Typically, I like to go either down in the bottom right or top left. This time we'll go with bottom right. Now guys, we need a URL to put in here, so where are we going to get that? Long story short, you have to view your Streamlabs dashboard. Look, they added a link right here for you. Boom. I'm going to log in with Twitch this time. Naturally, you're going to log in with Mixer if you're streaming on Mixer. I no longer stream on Mixer, so I'm just going to log in with my Twitch dashboard. Let's 
It's a good thing this is a YouTube video. I don't want any uh, sensitive information popping up, right? All right, guys, you're gonna come right over here to your alert box. Click on the alert box and it should show you, boom, all your settings for your alert box. This is that URL you need. Guys, I'm not gonna click to show it to you. You don't need to see my widget URL. What I gotta do is click copy to get that link. You can also come in here and set up your alerts. So for example, whenever I get a follow, it's set right now to play a sound and show a GIF. You can change the media here. You can upload stuff from your own PC, or you can actually use their stock images. And if you click on their stock images, you can see there's a pretty good selection of stuff in here. Right? Like, uh, who doesn't love Pikachu? Where's our link? Or Princess Zelda. Hashtag triggered. Uh, we're going to cancel that because I don't want to change it. Uh, you can go ahead and set up things like subscriptions, but chances are if you're just starting out with Lightstream Studio, you don't have subscriptions yet. Uh, here's mine. Biffles, best friends for life. So you're just going to copy this. As you can see, guys, I managed to copy it without showing you guys the URL. It's really it, it popped up and showed the URL. Uh, I didn't want you guys to see it. So we're going to cut that part out. So if it seems like it kind of skipped for a second, it, it did. I totally cut that out. Uh, but then we're going to go back over here real quick and we're going to test it. So you want to know what your actual thing sound and look like, right? Easy way to do that, guys, is just to test it. So let's test the follow. Click test follow and then jump back over here. Click test follow and then jump back over here. There it goes. <laughs> Guys, if it takes you too long to go back and forth between the pages, you can actually add a delay to it so it'll take a little bit longer to pop up. Let's see, what else do you want to test here? Test donations. Got my donation thing here and let's test it. Oh yeah, John donated $89. Me and this John guy are best friends. All right, guys, one thing I did forget to show you was how to add that overlay we talked about before. It's really easy, guys. You're just going to come up here and click on the plus. Click on images. <clears throat> Scroll down past all my preset or all my uh, ones, the presets. And as you can see, when you get down here, there's a bunch of presets you can choose from. You can choose to plug Powered by Lightstream on your stream. I don't know why he would, but you absolutely can. Uh, you can use your mixer overlays which are built right in and you have a bunch of simple overlays that are also built right in. You can click on more overlays, but this is really all you need. Guys, uh, you absolutely don't have to have these overlays, but they do kind of frame out your scenes nicely. As you can see, I added that there and it looks pretty nice. Gives you that nice little crisp professional look. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with that guys, let's go ahead and see what it looks like to go live. Because I have multiple scenes, I'm going to click back on the starting scene only because every now and then Lightstream does this thing where it breaks. So we want to come back to our starting scene before we actually go live. Let's switch over so you guys can see what it looks like when I go live on the Xbox. You open up your home menu, come over here to the radar dish and go down to start broadcasting. Click on the start broadcasting, you get a few seconds of pinwheel. The most exciting thing about using electronics in the modern era is these little pinwheels. All right guys, as you can see, I've already titled my stream, my stream tutorial coming soon. Mixer.com slash Danny. that's where we're broadcasting. And I don't have a webcam or a microphone hooked up at this time. So we're just going to go ahead and start the broadcast. As you can see, it says down there on that little chat box that no, I don't have a microphone and no, I don't have a webcam. That means good. We know that that's for sure not there or that it is there. Uh, always keep an eye on that if you are sometimes using a webcam and sometimes not or whatever the case may be for you individually. So we've gone live. Let's go back to Lightstream Studio here. You can see I'm on my starting scene and I've already got Mixer open up here. It says I'm live and it says starting soon, right? Starting soon. Awesome. So we'll just come over here. I have it enabled where I can one click to switch scenes. So we're just going to switch right to the new scene we just created. And as you can see, it shows you everything here in. Sorry, I placed my camera right in front of that. Uh, and we also have our stream output in chat. Awesome stuff. So we click right onto our channel, and as you can see, the overlay 
is being broadcasted directly from the Xbox. Pretty easy. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, with that though, let's go ahead and end this because we don't need to be broadcasting nonsense for too terribly long and annoying all the people who get the alerts when I go live, right? Stop that. Uh, guys, with that, that concludes our basic tutorial on how to use Lightstream Studio. We're going to go into some more stuff later on, uh, but for now, that's enough to get you started. We're going to talk about some other third-party integrations and chatbots in future videos. So if you liked what you saw, make sure you like and subscribe. That way, you get notifications when I post more Lightstream tutorial videos in the coming weeks and months. Okay, guys? Uh, with that, good luck on your journeys. I hope you guys all find success, and I hope this video helps you because I know when I was starting out, I had a hard time finding videos like this. Uh, with that, bye, guys. I'll see you later.